Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the real housewives of cross -stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Ronnie. And this is Piper. Ronnie decided to join us this morning. She's got her little reindeer. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. We have our shirts on. Jolly Housewives. Um, I, I ordered this to the table so you can see it's yes. the same. <laughs> I ordered a medium just to see if it... That's a medium? Yeah. I just ordered just to see. Why? Because people were asking about the size. If they could size up, if it's a little bit, and I think it's more roomy if you size up, so. But the arms are the same. That cat's gonna bring those down. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Uh, happy Jolly July. We're... No, not Jolly July. Jolly, Jolly, Jolly Housewives. Housewives. <laughs> oh, you said Jolly July just a second ago when you were talking about Facebook. That's why I said it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so... What did we do this week? Yesterday we shipped charts. Yesterday was Friday. We shipped them out to mm -hmm. stores. We got the charts Thursday evening. So <laughs> we, we hurried like little Santa's elves and um, sent them out. So your shop should be receiving them in the coming week. She just got naked for the video. Um, <laughs> what else? We, I decorated my tree and it's still standing. Everybody mm. said that they were disappointed it wasn't out in my yard. <laughs> Yeah, some people are like, couldn't you cut the bottom? That takes a lot of skill. Skill that we cut. don't. It was cut. They said that that because my tree is so small this year, the light that is shining on my eye makes my eye look like weird. Let -let. Okay, I don't know. Whatever light. Like, maybe it's my glasses are dirty. Okay, go ahead. So you. Uh, and then um, for my birthday, Chelsea asked me what I wanted, and I said I wanted shiplap in the hall. So yesterday, I got shiplap in the hall. Papa shiplapped it. Um, it looks good. The cash helped. So you guys will see that in the home tour. Yeah. Um, on the green hutch wall, mm -hmm. you know, under the stairs. Yep. The, the railing isn't painted yet. I know that's going to be a question in there. <laughs> um, what else? <laughs> what? I got my hair done. Did a little Christmas shopping. I'm behind. Wrestled with a cat. <laughs> the chunky cat. Oh, my cat is fine. Took him to the vet, he's good. His hormones seem to be settling. Uh, my other cat had, I don't know what happened, we're still waiting on test results, but his eyes got super cloudy. And so we've been dealing with that. We have to do like eye drops and that cream and pills at like every couple hours. Like, there's just a lot going on. Brushing the other cat's teeth, doing eye drops in one cat's eye, it's a lot. <laughs> All right, so people wanted to know, Lena wanted to know, how much shrink do you get on your finished fabric when you're dyeing it? A little bit. You can tell. Mm -hmm. More so when we use RIT dye than mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just tea coffee dyeing. Mm -hmm. Even though the tea coffee dye water is boiling. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Beth, what is the size of the Silent Night frame from Hobby Lobby? I don't know. She says she couldn't find it, so she wanted like No, because it's a fall frame. You probably can't find it now. Yeah. It's probably, it's over on the stairs. If we stop, I'll run and measure it for you. Shahina, I think it's probably like 12 by 12. It could be like 14 by 14. Will you be designing any more charts for the Up on the Pedestal series? Yes. <coughs> that is an ongoing series still, yes. We haven't concluded that one. The only one we've really concluded are is the um, trucking long series so far. Mm-hmm. Linda, have you ladies done Paper. a tutorial on decorating the tiered trays? No, that would be a good yes. thing. We did? With Fat Quarter Shop. Oh yeah, that's right. But not here. At no, Fat not Quarter here. Shop. Fat Quarter Shop and on their YouTube you can find when we went and visited them. I and... want to get her a toy. Oh, she just keeps a... wandering around the table. She's a toy. Judy, could you use beige instead of black for the winter wonderland? It would, I would say it would have to be a darker beige because... Like tea coffee, you could, yeah. Yeah, the white needs to pop. So you just need to make sure... Because if you don't, your white kind of just blends in and then mm -hmm. the snowflakes lose their luster and the snowmen and the winter part of Winter mm -hmm. Wonderland. Mm -hmm. Cindy, I love the back of the truck Winter Wonderland on the basket. How do you mount it on there? We have a tutorial. Yep, the Here Comes Santa Claus... Uh, finish of that if you go to my blog when I posted the winter wonderland the video is right there on my blog You can just click on it and watch it. She linked that one, but it it's not it's the Santa version of this but Right, the same and it concept. just shows you how we we go from season to season with it Natasha Are there any plans to add the color purple to the checks or plaid designs? 
Jean, question. Any chance you would sell kits in your Etsy shop? Kit would contain stitching fabric, fabric for finishing floss, and little embellishments. If you need a kit packer, I'm available. Uh, so right now, no. But you can get those kind of things. Like, Back Quarter Shop does kits of our... Like, right now, you can get, I think... Uh, maybe you can't still get the trucking alongs. All right. That one was a no-go. Here, do this one. <laughs> things are hard. Um... <laughs> Yeah, for right now, we don't have a space for inventory for th that kind of stuff. And, you know, we we and have that, full confidence in the people that do provide the kits and make up the kits right. for us. Right, and we, that, we want shops to be able to sell things to you guys. Yeah. And she, we tell you where to buy all the stuff that oh, you need. So, I need to yeah. cover this, too. Um, Thank you so much for all of your support on Black Friday. If you didn't see it before, we did a Black Friday, or Cyber no, Monday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday sale uh super excited about that um now if you are new to etsy there are online shops that sell our patterns which we are we have full confidence in oh them my gosh. <laughs> yeah and then um we have our own shop where we just sell pdfs now if you just type in, so this is kind of like the amazon story from last week if you just type in uh stitching with the house size you're gonna get Everybody multiple shops. yeah yeah the shops shop that sell our um design so and then you can add things to your cart from multiple shops and you can check out from multiple shops in one purchase. So mm -hmm. I just want to put that out there so you're aware. Um, it's not us trying to scam or anybody trying to scam. It's just how Etsy works and you're able to shop for multiple, which in some cases is great. If I'm going to find Disney shirts and I can get a bunch of them in one order, it's perfect. But for some people that don't understand that, they think that it's different. So okay. I just want to cover that. And one other thing. Our shop is the only one on Etsy that you should be able to get a PDF from. If you're able to get a PDF of ours from somebody else, Except there's a problem. Except for fatquartershop.com. Well, yeah, but on Etsy. I, I just want to make it clear because that we're going to have 40 emails saying I buy my PDFs from right. Fat Quarter Shop. But so if I'm you're just... getting a PDF of ours from another Etsy shop, there's a problem and please contact us. Janet, can you post your panini recipe on your blog? It sounds good. That would have to wait until next year because we don't have the stuff to take pictures and we have to take pictures to put a blog post but it is just crusty it's the, bread no it's a pioneer woman, oh right? we use pioneer woman's yeah. recipe yeah day, so, day after thanksgiving recipe or something it's called okay those are the questions i have for this week okay so what are we doing now whips <laughs> no we don't do whips now. what do we do oh we show what we released this week so um one thing I want to say is later today, I'm going to put a post in the Stitching with Housewives group for you to, and I want you to put your pictures on there of your Jolly Housewives, what you're stitching for Jolly Housewives, yep. and then we'll pick a few winners from that for yes. a free chart. Yep. You're going to get a free chart for mm -hmm. uh, next week, and we just Not, not everybody, just a few random people. <laughs> We're going to pick five Which people. Which we can do. <laughs> We're going to pick five people, but we'll do this throughout the month um, mm -hmm. to kind of celebrate Jolly Housewives. Okay. Kelly July Housewives. <laughs> so. This week. Oh, no, I, previous finishes. I'm going to show this first. Remember, oh, I stitched this. Yeah. So I finished it. I feel like I have to cough. <laughs> this is the Jolly Jar. And on the back, look what she put on there. Super cute. Where'd you get the reindeer? People are going to want to know. What what reindeer? Is it a button? Oh, um, Hobby Lobby in the Christmas buttons. She used the beads again up at the top as a hanger. Okay, and then I lost a bet with my friend Tanya, <laughs> so I had to finish her piece. So she stitched. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and I finished it on a block. What's the bet? Hmm? What was the bet? I'm not telling <laughs> I'm not telling. Okay. <laughs> I like that ribbon. Where'd you get that ribbon? That's the stuff from that online company that I bought when, um, gosh, what is it? Craft, craft supplies or something online. Okay. And this was our snowman pedestal. This was this week's Wednesday tier trade tidbit. You've got the little snowman bead on the bottom, and this little garland tassel is in our Amazon shop. It's mm -hmm. a pack of 17 of them or something. Some no, weird it's like number. five or six. Oh. It's not very many. Okay. Unless there's a bigger bundle that you put in there. Maybe. 
or maybe it was seventeen dollars. I don't remember that number. I don't think it's seventeen dollars. All right. Okay. Well, it's in our Amazon shop, and to get to our Amazon shop, just go to the description box below, and it says our Amazon shop. Or don't, it's linked on my blog too. Yeah. Don't type in housewives. I on did. Amazon. I did cut this shorter. I cut it probably an inch shorter because it was really long. But this looks really cute on the tree with the snowman hanging down. You have to like finagle the beads to get it to lay just perfect because there's buttons and the face. But once you put it on the tree and set the beads, then, you know, with me waggling it around, it's moving. So this starts our winter yes. theme for the and tiered tree. Some of you who don't decorate with Santa, you decorate with snowmen for Christmas. So even if you use this for Christmas, I use mine right now on my snowman tree. Plus then I do like a month in January where I still keep my snowmen up. Yep. Oh my goodness, did I forget to bring that over? Oh, no. good. And then this is Let It Snow, the Dapper Doodad. And I use this snowman from Scarlet Sky Designs on Etsy. They had sent this to us last year, and I didn't, I don't think I used one last year. I think we might have been done by the time. But it's really cute. And then I just used a flannel buffalo plaid ribbon for his um, scarf, added a covered button and a snowman on it, and it was a very easy finish. Chelsea's Chucks. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Scarlet Sky Designs TX on Etsy for that board. Okay, and then my... They still, do they still have them? Have uh, you seen them lately? I would assume they do. I would assume they do. So this was our third release. It's from the All Jarred Up series, and this is Hello Frosty. Is he crooked in there? There's also a finishing tutorial for this, so you can see how to switch it out from season to season. I did go and buy another one of these boards so that I could leave my Santa up in the kitchen because I, I missed him being there so much. So that's our, our all jarred up. And I used... And there's a fox. Guys, there's a fox. Everybody always asks for foxes. There's a fox. And there's a really spiffy dressed snowman. Right the here. <laughs> he so, was naked to begin with. <laughs> yeah. And she put little pantaloons on him. He's waiting for a flood. <laughs> For when he melts. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So uh, I use magnets and washers to change this out. The um, Also for this up here, I use magnets and washers. And because this is kind of heavy, I use two magnets. But that's it. Where did you get that snowflake, did you say? It's off of an old garland. Oh. It's metal. Yeah. I went in on my snowman tree and cut my garland. <laughs> Use what you have, resources. <laughs> what? Yeah, some days, you know, you just want a lot of stuff. You don't have a lot of winter, like, picks and stuff like that. Well, I don't feel normally like Normally, I would run to the store, but yeah. I was... You're tired. <laughs> no, I wasn't tired. I was, like, I, I made a mistake. I had to rip out the whole bottom of the snowman. I was already late. She's mad. There was a deadline <laughs> with the printer, and I was, like, stitching like a maniac. So... I had to do half of that snowman over again, and I was just like, no, I'm not going to the store to get a snowflake. Our, printer is, <laughs> our printer is very lenient with us. She's <laughs> very good. There's the tree. Okay, so then I'll do the previous finishes. And we have good intentions. I mean, she starts these right away. She finishes one, and she starts the next one. But, you know, just life. Changing the chart 7,000. Right, and sometimes falling asleep the minute I sit down to stitch tonight because I've done so much during the day. Anyway, this is one of my favorite ornaments. It's a butter dish, a vintage butter dish, silver. And that was in a just cross-stitch ornament issue like a long time ago. I think it's Kathy Barrick. And then my Prairie Schooler. This is from the Prairie Schooler Christmas Alphabet. I love this. I did this one too. I um corrugated right and I had gotten this for free at Joanne Fabrics they had a thing where they had like a table full of stuff and they were like just pick something so oh. like their spring stuff that they had left over right. or something like that so it's like metal on the back so I picked this and then these houses were from um the Target dollar spot it was a garland so I cut them apart people have found them on Etsy different versions of this I mounted them on sticky board I added Chelsea's checks in the background now this was the alphabet. So if you're looking at the pattern, it shows a, a, a through Z. Right, and I just um, wrote Christmas. Right, we decided to just do that. Or you could make kids initials that some, some people did last year. 
or, or the year before. And then I added the uh, Baker's Twine to the top of each house. I added the little bottle brush wreaths and wood snowflakes in between them all. And this just hangs over a door. Super cute. So those are my previous finishes. And then for what we worked on, Chelsea worked on those two. Yes. And I, gosh, <laughs> forgot. I had good intentions to stitch last night while Papa was doing the shiplap, and then we just started talking, and he yelled at us both, "Aren't you both supposed to be stitching?" We were just talking, <laughs> gabbing. We were here till like eleven o'clock. It was eleven thirty, almost twelve o'clock before I went to bed. I was tired. <laughs> this is the um, the freebie that we did for my birthday. So I got his a very merry Christmas. His little suit done, and then I got um, the Christmas part almost done. And I think I'm going to take this with us in the car today because we are going to Chicago. So ask us what we're going to do down there. We have no idea. No, we're going to the Chris Kindle Market. We're going for dinner. What is, okay, so is it food vendors or is it like little shopping? I think shopping? it's all. Oh. And then we're going to try to go to Rosebud for... What do you mean try? You didn't make the reservation? You can't make a reservation for six. And when I was making a reservation, it was 10 o'clock at night and they're not taking reservations for... All right. So what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Eat. Um, okay. Anyway, and then I wanted to show you... I've been working on the calendar crate for March, and these are the colors. So I'm very excited for you to see it. You'll see it at the end of this month, and then it'll ship out the beginning of January. And all of my decorating is done, except for I have to draw two chalkboards, and I still haven't put my Fitz and Floyd up here or on my um, the shelf in my kitchen, so I have to do that. But I think other than that, it's all done, except for everything needs to be all cleaned again. And then we'll do a home tour. Can yeah, we we're, do a home we're hoping tour? to do it next week. Yep. Okay. Now what? Gifts? Yep. Okay. All that stuff. You guys spoiled me. I'm so excited. Um, so <laughs> so this was from um, the Schmelzer family. And they sent me... I had a card in here. A very cute card. Her name is Vanessa. And she says Minnesota has tongues. Uh, Olaf! I love him. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then... <laughs> Mom was like... Oh, I didn't know there was a card in this one. I'm so excited. This is from Mandy. <laughs> They said they saw it after my video, so thank you, and they had to get it for me. I'm not going to open it up. It has Olaf as a topper, but it's packaged well, so I can go home now. And, and it's it. a blue cup. And it's a blue cup, and it says worth melting for, which is one of his famous lines. Olaf is from Frozen, if you're not a Disney fan. It's just something we've gotten into recently, and Olaf is super cute and funny. If you haven't watched his short on Disney Plus, you should. Okay, then... I wanted, oh, this, I got a Christmas card. This was from Sue. I got one too. She is uh, somebody that mom was able to meet up with when I went to Disney a couple of years ago. Yeah. Oh, that was yours. Mine's right here. Sorry, mine's right here. <laughs> then um, <laughs> we got this. This was from Donna. And she wrote a very nice note. And then in this cute little um, card. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Look, it's a little cup of tea or cup of coffee. And then she sent us a Starbucks gift card. So, so thank cute. you, thank you, thank you. Then this one, you emailed me and you were worried. So I'm so glad it came. This is from Ellen Helms, I believe. Yep, Ellen. She now has a shop that she is, she made her own website. She had sent us some ornaments last year and she's making bags now. And the zippers are um, perfect for people like with arthritis and things because she said they're super easy to open. Um, her, these are cute. Uh, where is your website? Oh, she's got a little okay. tag in there with a flag made in America. 
Earthwise Emporium is her um, company name. And it, the website is www.earthwise-emporium.com. And I'll put that on our description box below. That is not something we saw. Then there is this. Tired of playing with your toy already? This is from Marianne. A beautiful card. Some refreshment tasso, some English breakfast tasso, and then these <laughs> <laughs> super cute. Um, they're metal, right? Yeah. They're metal. I love these to go because they're not as heavy mm -hmm. in the car when I'm trying to drive like this. You'd think I'd use a travel mug, but I don't. No, every time you get in the car, there's at least a Ray Dunn or two that you got to put your feet around. <laughs> he brought some in the other day. He brought like three cups in. Cash was so excited. You got mama a gift? And he's like, no, these were in the car. <laughs> you just can't hit the brakes too hard. Um, <laughs> these are from our friend Denise at Dot Dot Goose Design. She is also on Etsy. Uh, dot Dot, yeah, Project Bags on Etsy, Dot Dot Goose Design. No S, sorry. The vintage girls for Christmas and then like the peppermint striping. Super cute. This one was my favorite, but I told mom she could have it. She sent us a cute note. Um, letters to Santa and dress up holidays is the little mailboxes and then the trucks. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Thank you so much, Denise. They're very pretty. And we're off. I did a better job of keeping the table cleared off this week and you should see it now. <laughs> I have a big <laughs> tote over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Donna has sent us these oh. fabulous things that she makes before. Yeah, she sent us a bunch for Thanksgiving. They didn't get here in time for Thanksgiving, but they're still not your fault. Not no, it. no we're they're we still, still gather. We're okay. We'll eat them all. So first of all, she sent us a bunch of these Superman Mickey heads, and this is for Patrick. And then she puts little gift tags and gift cards in them. They're very nice. So thank you so much. Look at this. I know. Isn't that card the prettiest? Oh, gosh. It's going to have a field day. Look at this card. She made this whole card. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So then there are okay, these. And she doesn't have an Etsy shop as far as I know. So if you do, then let us know. These are so amazing. But I want to. Um, the Mickey Superman. This is add amazing. Add a little hanger and put it on the tree. Amazing. But she sent us, I think there's five of these. So we can give them to the brothers. But I think, no, ours have the Starbucks gift cards in them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, so we, we, did, hungry or what? we did a meet up. So sometimes I bring the chart all the, or the stitching all the way here and sometimes we meet like halfway. And she typically brings cash, a cake pop, and a vanilla bean frappuccino. I ask her if he wants it first. Right. And she asks, and he's like, no, tomorrow. I don't want one today. We get there. Where's my milkshake? Wouldn't talk to her because he didn't have his milkshake. He was, he was sassy. <laughs> so now it's always just bring the milkshake. <laughs> it does have coffee in it. That's why he's allowed to have it. Don't freak out. Aren't those cute? These are the cutest little turkey guys. And they have the C's candy in them. She does amazing things. Yes. She made some things for the baby shower uh, when we yes. we did Bonnie's. Uh, what else did she? I mean, she was at the retreat, right? Yes. And she made the she um, made all Mickey's stuff at the retreat. Like, yes. Um, witch hat. I still have that in my church. <laughs> I used it as a decoration. Um, this pilgrim hats. Super cute. Cash loves these little... I think you also got him um, the, like, Frankenstein and pumpkin sucker candies, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they're the mm -hmm. seeds candy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Donna. They're amazing. That's for her.
This was extra charts to give away. This was from... From Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll put these in today's giveaway. Okay. And then there's not um, Christmas related, so if they're a little bit later, it's fine. Mail is going to take forever, so we're doing mostly PDFs for giveaways until after the first of the year. Aren't they cute? Where's, where, where? Oh, I didn't open it up. I'm like, where's the card? How do I know who these are from? These little tags. She makes needle minders. Okay, this is from. Oh, this is a little vintage. The Vintage Moose. She sent us stuff before. She's Heather. Um, her Etsy is Vintage Moose NJ. And as in Nancy. And then the snowman or the snowflake garland, super pretty. I will link her below. Thank you, Heather. And this would look cute hanging out of here. Oh yeah, that's good. See what on the bus. I love these little candy canes. I know. They're awesome. I'm gonna put those on my tree. I think. Okay. 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 This is mine. I love anything that looks old than Christmas. And I went to an antique store yesterday and she said vintage Christmas is really hard to get this year. <laughs> Pretty soon all the vintage Christmas will be gone because it won't, I can't get new of it. Okay, that's all I have. You sure? Oh, this one. No, th those are, that's mine, I told you. Those are your Uggs? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, where are you going? What's in that bag? Like it's fabric, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> it's like my kids. It's in there. No, it's not. It's in there. No, it's not. It's in there. No, it's not. Fabric of the month this month is pewter, which is like a silvery gray. Super pretty. Pewter, the linen. So fabric of the month club through fatquartershop.com. They do uh, a monthly and they are all pretty much neutrals that you could use for any season. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything like garish, you know, it's a great way to build your Right. And it's stash. nice when you want to go stitch something that you can just go grab a piece of fabric and stitch it. Yep. Instead of having to worry about when you're going to be able to find what you want. And yes. What, what was this for the charts? Okay. All right. There's no other cards or anything in there? No, it's all like the thank you cards. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do last week's giveaways. Piper, are you bored? Okay, so we did have giveaways last week. What? Is that paper That's wrapped up? Giveaway. Okay. All right. Um, so the first one was the Believe Tear Tray Tidbit. Which, if you just, like, seeing is believing. It's um, on my tree. <laughs> I forgot. So. Barb Yoder, Sally Sohovi, and Seems Like Fun. Email us, and I'll email you the PDF. So, I don't do giveaways every day. I pick days that I do giveaways. So, if you don't get an email back from me, like, 10 minutes after... You send it, you don't have to send it again. I get to them throughout the day because I make time to ship where I have to sit down and, and send them out. Um, bringing Home the Tree, At Home with Glenda, Nora Harnett, and Stacy Lutter or Lutton. I was writing early this morning. Then we had the, I knew I needed these. Orange silk. Yeah, so this was the, not silk. Fine floss. Yeah, fine floss is silk. Okay, all right. I wrote it, but I couldn't remember. The Outrageous Orange. We have two opportunities to win this. That goes to Maria Tapia and Crazy Kids Cool Mom. With Case. Then we had the Floss Fix, which was a cranberry red color. I don't know where the open one is, but I'm going to keep this one intact because I can just put a label on it. Uh, and that goes to Josie Connor. Congratulations. 
Then we had some bag project bag giveaways last week. So this first one was from Fiddlesticks, Fiddle Feathers, sorry, fiddlefeathers.etsy.com. And that goes to Sharon Ashley. I'm not gonna unwrap it. We showed you the bag last week, but this will be a nice little thing for you to open up. Mm -hmm. Then Creative Carol, we had two bags from her. So the first one was the Nutcracker bag. And she is also on Etsy, Creative Carol Designs with a K. That goes to uh, Jaslyn Shear. Congratulations. Chelsea, I'll link her shop below too. Yep. And then we, I called it the Winter Friends. I'm not sure what the name is on her Etsy, but with the moose, the bear, deer. This goes to uh, ND Quilter One. And our fabric on the front. Then we had the collection of uh, Christmas charts. This was from viewers. This goes to Marie Shaw, and you get the Winter ABCs, the My Christmas List, and the Lizzie Kate Sleds. Um, okay, and then a very merry, no, a merry little Christmas, a merry little Christmas. Is that the mailbox one? Yes. Wait. No, that, it's that one. It's that one. Because you talked about the not being able to get the pieces or whatever. So you're going to get the PDF of this and we've seen it on several different colors. Black look, looked amazing. You just changed the, um, the outline of the box. If you wanted to, it looks great. The winners for this, Rebecca Blair, Rose Castro, Janet Ricchetti, Martha Epstein, and Cyan Parrington. Sorry if I butchered that. I think that the silent night frame is about 12 inches square. I could be wrong. She thinks the silent night frame is about 12 inches square, not the Pioneer Woman plates. Yeah, that was the Pioneer Woman plates. Well, I saw a bunch of Pioneer Woman boxes by the front door. What are those? I have no what idea. What are those? I have no idea. Are they new plates? I have no idea. You're not supposed to be nosing around. I, they're, they're bright when you walk in. You had to kick them to open the door. <laughs> so like those things are heavy. I don't, like, I don't know what to do. She said nosing around. I literally had to shove them out of the way with the door. She did not. The door, there's plenty of clearance. <laughs> um, okay, so those are the winners this week, or last week. The winners for, or the giveaways for this week, I don't know how to use my brain anymore. The winners for this week, so the first one, number one, is going to be three opportunities to win the snowman pedestal, and that's the tear tray tidbit from this week. Three opportunities to win this. And remember that the beads are in our Amazon shop. It's all linked in there. And it's snowmen without a house. Number two is um, the Let It Snow. So mad with the house. Three opportunities to win this. She's so sarcastic. I'm not. Oh, you didn't even show them what I got you. Did right. you show them? I brought it to show them. Jolly Happy Fun. Isn't this cute? She collaborated with Frosty the Snowman, I guess. I don't know how that works, but I saw that and I thought it would be cute for her winter displays. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that's number two. Number three is three opportunities to win that. Can you stop scratching? I know you hate wearing a collar. Ugh. You're a lot of work. Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland. So number three is three opportunities to win the chart of Winter Wonderland. About these giveaways, they will be delayed. I'll be traveling. They'll be delayed. These that we just announced, unless they're going to go out. Unless you um, respond right away, right? No. Okay. Anyway, they'll be a little bit delayed, but not by a long time. Number four is three opportunities to win All, up, all Jarred Up, the Hello Frosty. And then number five, three opportunities to win the chart of calendar crates, February. Any response to these was so overwhelming. We appreciate. Yes. I mean, all the, I, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. I don't have all the little hearts on there, but. I mean, if somebody could tell you you're pretty every single day, that's how it feels <laughs> yes. when we hear, like, not every single, but like every minute of the day, because it's. Just, right, and when you show us you're decorating and you have our charts in your house, and it just makes us feel really good. Yeah, she's eating the collar. She's, she's eating the collar. Um, 
remember we showed you the snowflakes? Good help is hard to find. So I went on Amazon and I found little tiny bags. And look at these cute little ones. Yes. So Chelsea will put those in our Amazon shop so you'll be able to find them today. But you get 100 bags. I think it was $8 and free shipping, $8.99 and free shipping. So look at how cute. I hung up five big ones in my windows and I'm going to add some, like four small ones. Chelsea said from the outside, three of them together. It looks like a hidden Mickey. It's so cute. <laughs> I had two of them hung up. My cats have a cat hammock on the window and Thor took them down. So I have zero <laughs> snowflakes now. Um, okay, so that... I was trying to think if there was wait, anything Wait, else. wait, wait, wait. That, that wasn't the end of the giveaways. Uh, oh, that... One, two, three, four, five. Then uh, number six is going to be the from the viewer today... This is called Eye on the Sparrow. That's six. Number seven is Hello Summer. Number eight is from Fat Quarter Shop. Number, what do you, oh, the, the fabrics? Yeah. We said not a lot of We'll do like three of the PDFs. Eight is uh, the a Ada in Pewter. Nine is the Linen in Pewter. These are from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. And number 10 is the December trucking along three PDFs for that. Okay. All right, so what, what you're gonna answer is, first of all, you're gonna give your shop a shout out, whether you buy online or whether you have a brick and mortar. Yep. You're gonna give your shop a shout out. And then you're going to tell us which is your favorite out of the three new releases, the February crates, the winter wonderland, or the Hello Frosty. All charred up. So tell us your favorite out of those three charts. Tell us where you like to spend your money for your stitching, whether it's online or uh, brick and mortar or both. And we just love to see your answers. Yep. And while you are watching this video, make sure you're getting ready to share your uh, jolly housewives stitching stitching pictures we can't mm -hmm. wait to see them so we're going to ask for those pictures in our facebook group i think that this turned out so cute for a tear tray i still want to know the bet um, and i added a wreath and some of those beads to the top too all right so just show you stitched it for no oh she sent you her stitching yes <laughs> tanya also sent us a beautiful wreath we forgot to bring that oh, in that's yeah okay. we can't bring it in um a beautiful like real, real yeah, yeah Christmas wreath with lights and the hanger and it's it was so heavy that it drug my um suction cup off the <laughs> front door so then I put it on my fence and then yesterday when I was at Walmart I found a, a suction cup that has two suction cups for up to 40 pounds so now it's on my front door got it <laughs> we figured it out it's fine it's it's a biggie <laughs> it's beautiful though thank you yes. so much thank I you I haven't had a you. real wreath for 120 years. I've never had one. That's what I told her. I've never had a real wreath before. <laughs> Poor so anyway, childhood. We hope you're enjoying this merry time of the year and it's so warm here. We don't like it was 60 degrees this week and I mowed the lawn. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Today don't it's going to be like 48. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, we are planning to head to Chicago. I would love to go ice skating. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and then I I've never been to that. Chris Kringle market. Yeah, I've had. I think I was. I've a had long Kringle. Time ago. You went a long time ago. I think so. Like when you were a kid, or no? Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it's their twenty fifth anniversary. I just saw it on the website, but it yeah, doesn't like say I what went when it I is. Was a kid. <laughs> it doesn't say what it is. It's just like it shows a picture of people like outside, and then like that's it. I don't no, know what it booths. is. There's booths. There's I'm like, telling you what the website, if I went and I didn't like know what it was. food and probably lots of different beer because it's German and probably pretzels. Oh, with yeah. cheese sauce? Mm. I doubt it. It's probably mustard. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't think they're going to give you the fake cheese in a cup, Chelsea. <laughs> they might. We go to um, Milwaukee Burger. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a chain. Is it a chain? But they have another one, but there's it's just right around Oh, there. okay. Well, they have these pretzels and they give us this like... Pretzel bites. Mustard. I don't no, let, no, we not never the mustard, get the, the white mustard, cheese. The, the white cheese, yeah. white cheese sauce. It's just very. I'm sure it's like out of a squeezy bag or whatever, but <laughs> it's fine. It's so good. I just love it. And that and the fried pickles, and I'm good. Aren't they cute? Oh, and I went to the spot this past week. Oh. If you don't know, if you're a Kenosha native, I'm not a Kenosha native, but I knew what the spot was. Yeah, we used to always go there. Yeah, it's a drive up 
type thing. Okay, that's all we have. Uh, we hope that you are stitching, 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 getting some stitching in for gifts if you want to. If you don't want to give stitching as gifts, I salute you to that too. If you want to just slap them on your own tree, mm -hmm. you do you. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot because we know you'll appreciate them. Right. right and right. every year when you take them out, you're like, oh. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, she's already talked about how she's going to do the Prairie Schooler on a spinner next year. Hopefully. Um, so it's going to happen. I'm going to probably have something built for the top of the bin because those two trees are up on those big Sterilite 30-gallon bins to raise them up so that the village can go underneath. And what I do is I lean the tree back so that because there's a lip on the, I lean the tree back because I only decorate the front. So you can't, I don't think it'll be spinning. I don't know. We'll, we'll have we'll to just try it out. Make a wood base for the bin. Okay. Just put a piece of wood on there. Okay. Those stairs were a little bit tricky yesterday because of the angle and we don't have a protractor or anything. So he was using tin foil to <laughs> cut the angles and stuff. We just did it's that. perfect though it's perfect it just needs a little piece of molding on the edge yeah we didn't have that last night and some caulk and it's done but you can't tell that because you can't, cause he's like oh yeah just put the tree right back here. <laughs> there's a tree in front of it he, he was um and she found some more windows that she wants to hang so that's always great mm -hmm. <laughs> all right we uh, all know i've had these two chicken pictures here in my dining room for since this room was redone well, those are roosters and that was when Bratton was a baby. He was learning to walk. So he was like under one year old and he's nine. So it's time for it's time for a change. New. All right. Well, we appreciate you. And windows are like, uh, I mean, if every wall could have a window, she would. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for joining us every week for your activity in our stitching with the housewives group on facebook we love seeing all your things some of them are like oh my gosh you stitched all of those it's like amazing amazing do you hear ronnie's story anyway so we we appreciate all of you and we hope you're all having a really nice holiday season and we are we we um we're trying to fit it all in it seems like it's going way too fast so mm -hmm. yes <laughs> so follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we do. My hair's long, huh? Yeah, it's very long. <laughs> Mine's short. She cut it. She did? You let her? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Mom's super picky with her hair. Super picky. I don't have enough of it to, to be to not cut. picky. <laughs> Could you just cut it a little bit and then just put it back in here? She once had extensions. Um, she did it because... Cindy was learning how to yes. do them or something. So she like was guinea pig. The um, lady that she had long hair. My though. salon lady had someone her old one to to be her model to learn how to put the hair extensions in and then that woman canceled at the last minute. And I was in the shop and she's like, You're gonna do it for me, right? Mom hated them. <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, they were great at first. I loved having the long hair, but it was hard to get to keep them covered all the time, especially like if you're outside yeah, in the she, wind or what was it called? Like the where the they plastic them onto your yeah. like heat plastic them onto yeah. your hair. Yeah. Um but I remember I we saw pictures though <laughs> with you with that long hair. I remember that. Cause she's always had this length hair, even when you had your perms and stuff, right? Ew. <laughs> but when you were young, you had very short hair. Mm -hmm. You had like a boycott, right? No, it was like Dorothy Hamill. What's Dorothy Hamill? I know who Dorothy Hamill is, but what was her haircut? Her haircut was famous. It was like kind of like a bowl cut. <laughs> it was the wedge. That's what it was. It was shorter in the back and like long on over the top of it. Yeah. Like the can I speak to your manager one? No. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But I, we have that picture where you're like this, and I feel like you have really short hair. Because we always say that you looked like Parker as a baby. Do you remember right. that picture? <laughs> no, Parker looks like you as a baby. Do you remember that picture? Yes. She's like this. I'll show you guys sometime. No, you won't. <laughs> she had the wedge. It's fine. Okay, so I think that's it. We've talked enough. <laughs> we'll, see you next week. we'll see you next week. Home tour um, is coming. 
next week. So mm -hmm. next week you will see that. At and our time. video was late last week because of YouTube, not because of oh us. We, we, we Thank we, you for checking in on us. We appreciate right, it. We, we started filming like at eight in the morning and then it took until it was like, what, 1230 or something. Yeah, it was horrible. Massive. Right. It just kept processing. It would say 0%. And it was like, finally, I'm going to go home and do it at home to see if it switches there. So I start loading in my stuff and it says, oh, 99% processed. So then I, like from zero to 99% in that five minutes. So I said, okay, I'll wait for it. Then I waited another half an hour and it didn't move. It just like. So clicked. she started another upload. Yeah. But people have been saying, I mean, all across any channel on YouTube that mm -hmm. it's just, I mean, that's the what it is. Um, so sorry if you're late. If we're late today, sorry again. We have no control over that. We are almost done filming and it's around nine. So enjoy your weekend. Mm -hmm. We hope that. You're Hopefully kidding. I'll post some pictures on Instagram or my Facebook page today too of our fun in Chicago. Yep. And I'm hoping for some Papa Deli. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we gotta call and make reservations now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanna make reservations I started at telling her at 5 o'clock last night to make us reservations and then she waits till 10 and then she wonders why she can't get up. I wasn't even here at 5 o'clock so that is incorrect. <laughs> I was at Menards getting the wood for your wall at 5 o'clock. Or I was tanning. I'm not sure. One of the two. And, and we got all those scraps out there so I'm thinking one of the bathrooms upstairs, right? <laughs> We have a lot. He's like, are we gonna, are we gonna do any other walls or? I got a lot of scraps. She has a lot of walls that would be cute, but there's a lot of little pieces that no, it just those wouldn't work. Two bathroom walls, like one of them would be really cute, and there's no. I'll tell him it'll be really cute, and we'll see what he says. <laughs> it'd be really cute, and then if you could put a window on it, it'd be even cuter. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see him and ask him to put the window. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you. Well. Earlier than next week, but next week too. Oh, and also there was a really cute story on um, our Facebook group about how someone had the shirt on and they met with Kara, who we had her magazine and we sent it back said, to her. It finally came. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it was stuck in the mail. <laughs> we kept meaning to get to it. it I, I, mean, I had to drag it out of her kid's room. So. No, that is not true. Nothing goes in my kid's room. <laughs> oh, Just kidding. <laughs> the pages would have been ripped up. <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for joining us. Have a great week. Hopefully, you'll see a home tour this week, and I hope you like it. And because I got a, a few different things going on. So, yeah, we will see you next week. Bye.